everyone it is time to film my 2014 14 all-time favorites um video and i'm not gonna lie i have a lot of makeup in front of me and without making this video lasting about an hour long um i'm going to split it up into two so this video is mainly on makeup and makeup tools and then the next video which would be up next week um is going to be all about my body care um hair care and skin care so this video is just mainly on makeup and more makeup so without further ado let's get started um first of all excuse the voice because i am still quite ill and if you don't mind me dying throughout the video then yeah let's get started um so the first um category i want to talk about is primer and um it has to go to my laura mercier protect primer and i've been using this every single day since I got it and it's got this added SPF of 30 and I think it's such a good idea adding an SPF inside a primer and I've just been wearing it every single day. So that's from Laura Mercier. The next um, primer that's made the cut for me is from Burberry and this is the Fresh Glow Nude Radiance Primer in number one and I absolutely love this primer. It gives your skin a really nice glow and if you wear foundation on top then it just makes your look really radiant and that lit from within look. So that's from Burberry. Next category is the um, best lightweight foundation and, and this has to go to my Laura Mercier um, flawless fluid and i've got the shade in buff and i picked this up um earlier this year absolutely love it and i got it on today it's just a really nice natural light um coverage foundation and it's really similar to the chanel vital aqua and in terms of application you have to give it a good shake before you apply it and I think it's a really nice foundation. It sets really nicely as well and it's more of a liquid to powder finish and it just leaves my skin looking really natural. I've got it on today as I said and I just think it's the, one of the best filming foundations to use. So that's from Laura Mercier. The next category is the best full coverage foundation and this has to go to my By Terry Cover Expert. and. I absolutely love this foundation. It's a really nice medium to full coverage and it's completely um, foolproof to use and it lasts on my skin all day. It doesn't budge. I don't need to touch it up throughout the day. And the good thing about this is you can build the coverage up as much as, much as you want and it doesn't look cakey at all. And I've just been wearing it most days since I got it. I actually bought it quite recently and I finished about... I think I'm nearly halfway through it, which is quite scary, but um, definitely been one of my favourite um, full coverage foundations to reach for. So that's from By Terry. Next category is best tinted moisturisers, and I'm not really a tinted moisturiser girl. Um, I like a bit of coverage, but um, what made the cut for me this year is two um, tinted moisturisers, and the first one is from Chanel, and it's the Les Pages All-in-One Healthy Glow Fluid Foundation absolutely love this foundation um it's a um light to medium i would say tinted moisturizer more than a foundation and it just evens your skin out and it gives you a little bit more coverage and i just wear this when um mainly in the summer but i have been wearing it um if i don't wear, want to wear too much makeup and yeah this has just been really good and the second one comes from Dior and it's the Dior Skin Nude BB Cream. Now I nearly finished this one and I'm on my second one and I just think it's such a good um, light coverage. I would say it's more of a foundation than, than a BB cream. It's a bit more coverage and it just gives my skin a really nice glow. So I've been reaching for this a lot. So that's from Dior. Next category is the best concealer and there's only one concealer that made the cut for me this year and it's from Charlotte Tilbury and it's the Retoucher Conceal and Treat Stick and i on my second one of these now. Absolutely love it and it covers everything from blemishes to under eye circles and it's just a really good all rounder and I also like it because it's a twisty application pen and I really like liquid concealers and I just think they do a really good job in concealing blemishes and under eye circles. So yeah, that's from Charlotte Tilbury. Next category is the best powder. And I've got two powders to show you this year. And um, 
The first one is a loose powder which comes from YSL and it's the Souffle de Eclat and I got recommended by this from Simone um, and she also has a YouTube channel, she's a vlogger and a blogger from Dubai and I would have her channel linked down below but basically she recommended this um, loose powder and I've been using it to set my makeup and my makeup just stays put all day, it's absolutely amazing and it's really finely milled and I think loose powder tends to last a bit longer than a pressed powder and I just generally really like um, this loose powder. So that's from YSL. The next powder I want to show you is from Dior and this is a pressed powder and it's the Dior Forever Compact and I got the shade in 030. Absolutely love this one. Um, I've been using it to set my foundation and doing a touch up throughout the day and it just gives you a little bit more coverage and it makes your skin look really flawless and it feels really silky so yeah that's from dior next category is the best bronzer and the best bronzer has to go to uh, my mark jacobs um omega bronzer in tantric and i absolutely love this bronzer it's a matte bronzer so you can use it to contour and i just use it on my temples and just on the hollows of my cheeks and it just gives you such a um, nice warm um, glow without looking too muddy and it's one of the really nice big bronzers so you can just swirl your brush inside and I just think overall it's a really good product and I have been reaching for it a lot this year so that's from Marc Jacobs. Next pr um, category is the best contour and um, only two products have made the cut actually no three products have made the cut this year I can narrow it down because they are all really good and the first one comes to um, Charlotte Tilbury and it's the film star bronze and glow and I just absolutely love this palette I picked it up about four or five months ago and I've been using it a lot and the bronze shade is a really nice one to use as a contour and then the highlight shade is also a non um, it's not really chunky glitters and it just gives your skin a really nice glow. I've got it on today and I have been wearing it most days this year since I got it and it's just amazing. So that's from Charlotte Tilbury. Next product is um, more of an affordable option and this is from Bourjois and it's the um, bronzing powder and highlight and it's really really similar to the Charlotte Tilbury um, film star bronzing highlight and I think it's a bit of a dupe for it um it's got that similar bronze and a highlight shade and I think it's such an affordable drugstore option and highly recommend checking it out so I have been reaching for this a lot as well and it just gives you a really nice um sculpting highlight look so that's from bourgeois next category is blusher and I have three blushes to talk about I just can't narrow it down but the um, first one I want to talk about is a recent launch um, from Hourglass and this came up just before Christmas and it's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush Palette and it comes with three shades and i just been wearing these three shades a lot this year and I think it complements every skin tone, it's got a really nice peachy colour in the middle, it's got a pinky colour on the side and it's got more of a natural neutral colour on the end so I think this palette it's such a good investment and I think you can still get it as well so it's definitely worth the investment on the Hourglass blushes. I think it's such good quality as well so that's from Hourglass. The next blush I want to talk about is actually a limited edition but I have been using it every single day this year and it's from Dior and it's the My Lady blusher in um, 003 and it comes in a really weighty mirrored packaging and the blush for itself is really pigmented and it's got this crisscross lace and it's just such a nice colour to put on your cheeks and it gives you a really nice glow and unfortunately you can't get it anymore but it is one of the really good items to have to collect and yeah I've just really really been using it um, a lot this year so that's from Dior. Finally I have a, a more affordable option for you and this is from the body shop and this is the all-in-one cheek colour in number one macaroon. Really really like this colour and I think um, it's a really nice everyday colour and I have been wearing it in my everyday makeup look so I would have that link down below for you if you are interested but it, it is a really really nice um, peachy pink colour and it's definitely really affordable so that's from the body shop. 
Next category to talk about is the best brow product and you guys know if you've been following me for a while I only wear two products on my brows and the first one is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is the Brow Waves. Absolutely love this Brow Waves and I think it's a really good um, brow pencil. It's got a really thin nib so you can uh, really get um, that shape that you want and on top of the brow with I've been using the brow sculptor from Tom Ford and really really been liking it and I've gone through two of these previously they last me around a year and I think it's such a good investment if you don't have big brows and it just makes such a difference to my brows so that's from Tom Ford the next category to talk about is the best um, eye primer and I've only been using one eye primer this year and this is from Tarte and it's the um, Clean Slate um, 12 hour smoothing eye primer and I use this every single day it does a really good job in setting my eye makeup and just creating a really nice base for it and my eyeshadow just doesn't move then so that's from Tarte next category is the best eyeshadow palette and I have um, my Narcissus um, eyeshadow palette which I have been reaching for a lot this year and I believe it's limited edition but you, I think you can still get it on the NARS website but um, I would double check and have a link down below for you but it's a really really nice 15 pan eyeshadow palette it has shimmer shades, it has matte shades, dark to light and it's a colour for everyone and I just think it's such a good palette I have been reaching for it a lot and it just makes such a good day to night look so yeah that's from NARS the other eyeshadow palette I want to talk about that's made the cut for me is from Charlotte Tilbury and this is the luxury palette um, in Dolce Vita and it's a really nice um, quad I think it's got um, four shades it's got a light um, highlight shade it's got a ready burgundy shade which is really gorgeous on the lids and it's got a dark brown with a gold um, shimmer and I think it's such easy colour to wear and you can definitely um, get away with it in a day as well so that's from Charlotte Tilbury next category is the best eye pencil and you guys know that I love the Burberry um, eye definers and I really like the Midnight Ash which is something I've been using every single day and a recent purchase for me is Midnight Blue and I've been using it on my waterline and on my lash line and it sits really well so they're from Burberry next category is the best mascara and I've got two mascaras to show you and the first one is from Tarte and this is the lights cameras and flashes mascara I really really like this mascara it's a really nice volumizing mascara and it just gives your lashes a really nice um, lift and I just really like the packaging um, I'm almost out of this one so I need to get a new one but definitely recommend checking the Tarte mascara out. So that's Tarte. Next mascara is from Dior and it's a Dior Iconic Over Curl Mascara. I've got it on my lashes today and it's just such a good mascara. It holds a really nice curl and I just really, really like the um, wand. It's a bendy wand so you can get all the um, individual lashes and it's just such a good mascara. So that's the two favorite mascaras that made the cut for me this year. Next category is the best um, lip gloss and I'm not really a lip gloss person but um, I have been wearing the Chantecai, um Lucky Gloss, um, no what is it called, Chantecai Brilliant Gloss and um, this is the shade Sweet and it's just a really nice everyday um, pinky peachy colour and it's a non gloopy formula as well and I've just really really been enjoying using this so that's from Chantecai. Moving on to the best lip pencils and this year has been all about lip pencils for me and I think it makes such a difference to your um, lips and it makes your makeup on your last a bit longer as well and the first one is from Charlotte Tilbury and this is the lip sheet in Pillow Talk and this is one of the, her cult products and it is a really nice um, peachy pink colour and it looks a little like this it's just a really really nice um, everyday colour to wear on its own or you can wear it um, underneath a lipstick and your lipstick would last a bit longer so that's from Charlotte Tilbury the next one is one I got on today is Max Sewer which is what I've been wearing pretty much all month and I featured it in my December favourites video and I just absolutely love it it's a really nice um, more of a dark um, berry colour and 
it's a really really nice um, everyday colour to wear and I've been wearing Tom Ford's car car on top and it's a really good combination and it makes my lipstick last all day so that's from MAC next category is um, the best nude lipstick and this has to go to my new um, NARS audacious lipstick in Bridget and I just really really like this shade I wear it pretty much all the time and it's a really nice peachy pink color it's a semi matte formula and I just really really been enjoying the lipstick and I think NARS has really amped up their packaging this year um, with the lipsticks and it's just got this magnetic closure and it just looks so chic and yeah definitely will be picking up more of these so that's from NARS the next category is the best bold lipstick and I am completely head over heels um, over Tom Ford lipsticks and if you can't tell I am a little bit obsessed with Tom Ford lipsticks and I've been wearing Crimson Noir a lot, which is a really nice um, dark um, crimson red and it's just such a gorgeous colour to wear and I think Tom Ford is one of the best um, lipstick formulas on the market. And the next one is Slander, which is a limited edition but it's a really nice um, true red and it just stays on your lips all day as well. So that's Slander. And then also my recent purchase is Carrie, which is what I got on today. It's from the Lipstick and Boys collection and it's just a really gorgeous um, lip colour. It's a really nice mauvey um, pinky colour and I think it's been one of my highlights of 2014 with Tom Ford lipsticks and I have always loved them and yeah, just really in general love Tom Ford lipsticks. So they're from Tom Ford. The last category I want to talk about is the best makeup brushes and I split it up into um, categories as well and um, I'm going to just get them for you and the first one is Louise Young LY34 brush and I have been reaching for this almost on a regular basis. It's a really big um, chunky brush and you can just do your foundation within like a minute and it just blends the foundation in seamlessly and I just really like this one so that's from Louise Young. Second one, it comes from um, the Sephora Pro ranges and I've got number 53, which is an absolute favourite of mine, and number 55. And these two brushes are absolutely amazing. They wash really well, really, really good quality, and I have been reaching for these on a regular basis as well. So I'll definitely be picking up more when I go to New York. And yeah, they're the Sephora Pro ranges. The next brush I want to talk about, which I have been using on a regular basis, is the Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder Brush. And I use this as a blusher brush, and it's the perfect size to apply on the apples of your cheeks, and you get that perfect amount of product. And yeah, it's really, really soft, and it washes really well too. So that's from Bobbi Brown. The last two um, brushes I want to talk about, um, it's from Real Techniques and this is the Multitask brush and I've been using this as a bronzer brush, really really like this one, um, it just gets that hollow of your cheeks really well and it just gets the right amount of product, so really really affordable and I really really like this one. And the final brush I want to talk about is Real Techniques Setting Brush and it's that perfect brush to set your under eye makeup with or you can set your concealer with which is what I do and it's just perfect. I might actually get a backup with this one and it's just one of the really good brushes I use every day so they're from Real Techniques. The last two categories I want to talk, last category I want to talk about it's um, eye lash curlers and these have just made the cut for me for 2014. I think they make such a difference in your lashes overall and the first one I want to talk about is from Chanel and you can get, actually get this in the Chanel boutique in London in Covent Garden and it's exclusive to them as well so definitely recommend checking this one out. And the other one I've been using a lot is from Kevin O'Quan and it's the eyelash curler which is amazing and I think mine's kind of a bit dead so I need to get a new one soon but um really really like these overall and I think eyelash colours do make such a difference to your eyelashes so yeah that's it um we're done we're done for 2014 I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up I'm sorry for rambling on and yeah if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i hope to see you all in the new year and thank you very much for watching this video 
and I hope you all have a really good new year. Bye!